What's up guys, this is Mad Sam 84 here again for the next video of February's PS Plus Plays. Uh, the next game we've been given is The Sims 4. Uh, now I haven't played a Sims game since probably the original Sims on PC. Uh, whatever year that was, I want to say that was probably 98 I think. I may be wrong but um, other than that my Sims uh, playing days have not really happened. February 2000, it supposedly came out their first release. Um, I think I played about 30 minutes of Sims 3. I think I had bought a copy for, for my Mac when I was traveling and I didn't have like a portable game system with me, so I kind of just bought that because it was cheap and I, I knew my Mac at the time could run it. Um, so this is quite interesting. Um, I think the, when did Sims 4 came out? Sims 4 came out. Uh, I don't think it was that long ago. Um, why am I wrong? Oh no! Well, it came to consoles in 2017, so uh, only about two and a bit years ago. But it came out on uh, Windows 2014, so it's actually quite an old game. Anyway, so let's jump in this, have a little go, and have a little chat and uh, see how it is. Oh wow, okay. Oh, I don't care for this. Oh wow, okay. Um. Alright, um, yeah, that's what I want. You know what? Let's play the tutorial. Welcome to Create a Sim. This is where your story and characters begin. Look around and experiment. Select the buttons on the top to give your sim a name. Looks okay. Are important. Select the sim to choose their clothing, hair, skin tone, makeup, body shape, and more. Create yourself, someone you know, or even a celebrity. Who is your sim? What will they accomplish? First, choose an aspiration, which is a life goal. Select one of the buttons on the left of the screen. There we go. Read it. Okay, wow. Oh yes, it's got to be that. Okay. Okay. Oh wow. Let's put him as an athlete. Oh wow, okay. So... Now I'm done with that. Customized gender, okay. They've gone really full out. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, gotcha. What's this? Uh huh. 
All right, I like it, facial hair. But I wanna... Oh wow, okay, personality, but I wanna... Ooh. Are those trees meant to look that bad? Welcome to The Sims 4. We can't wait to show you all the wild stories you can tell in this game of life. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, God, that... Ooh. That wasn't good. That didn't look good. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? You fool. All right. Ah, yes, I don't like this control. Olaba. Your sim should follow Alex inside the house. Select Alex's portrait and press the R3 button to have the camera follow her. Then select anywhere on the ground and select go here. If you ever lose track of the sim, select their portrait to find them. Okay. Basically. And right now, your sim is hungry. But don't worry, Alex will prepare a meal for your sim. You'll need to know how to control the camera so you can see the things you want to see. Use the right stick to control the camera. Try it now. Oh, yeah. pictures! Okay, I'm still not feeling this. Uh, these games are always better on PC, let's put it that way. Come on, let's, let's make a laugh. Oh, God. Seem laugh at my joke. I think she found that funny. Select objects to give directions to your sim. For example, select the delicious food prepared by Alex and tell your sim to grab a serving. I've already done that. It's taking way too long. Relationships are very important to sims, both for their stories and their social needs. Select Alex and then select Get to Know to see your sim start a conversation. Feel free to experiment with friendship or romance to tell the stories that interest you. Okay, gotcha. It does look really good. to the top of the screen to see how the conversation is going. Sims need money to pay bills, buy better household items, and even purchase food. Luckily, we have Alex pull a few strings to get your sim a sweet job which starts tomorrow. You can choose a different job later if you don't like this one. You always have choices to make for your sim. It, uh, let's have a look at the town. 
see before I remember it kind of wasn't a, like a town it was just a house I'm pretty sure you would create Okay, what's this? Okay. Okay, that's disabled by tutorial. Now I'm going straight there. Okay. Yeah, the the control scheme. I'm not. You should open your Sims inventory to see what it is. Think of the inventory as your Sims' personal pocket with unlimited space. Hmm, magic pockets. Your Sim received an assortment of goodies from Alex. The gift included some seeds for a garden, a book, and something to decorate the home. Thanks, Alex. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Just randomly started doing that. Sims have an aspiration, which is their life goal. Select the aspiration button on the bottom of the screen to learn more about aspirations. Every aspiration has multiple levels called my Okay, wow, it's, it's so much more kind of in depth right than it used to be. Okay, select household objects, set. Alright, I think it's going to take a bit of getting used to it, this control scheme of just it's just the whole thing, the use of the cursor. I think they can, uh, they could have really made it kind of flow much better with probably with the, uh, with kind of like probably bringing the cursor up with, with the click of a button and holding the button to have the cursor down to select and have it kind of you just moving around more freely in a way. And actually even would have, would have made more sense probably of having like some sort of direct control of your sim so you can actually move them yourself instead of actually pointing and clicking for them where to go oh wow Wow, he's not anywhere near done with his workout. Let's just speed things up. Okay. 
Hmm, the same feels like there's some like frame rate kind of issues when panning the camera around. Go on, you stinky git, have a shower. Sims must sleep to improve their energy needs. Select the bed and tell your sim to sleep. This way, they'll be fresh and ready for their new job in the morning. Happy okay. sims make for better employees. Is he laughing in his sleep? So if I just got a, somehow commodated a room in this lady's room I had never met. Now this takes way too long. Rise and shine. Your sim should prepare for the first day of work. Select the shower so your sim can clean up and fix the hygiene needs. Co-workers don't like stinky sims. You sure? Okay, I had a pretty decent amount of sleep there. Select the toilet to fix your sim's bladder needs. We promise we won't look. It is quite interesting for them to give us this game because I don't think they've ever given us a sim game for PS Plus. Is it me or is he taking extremely long to have a shower? We Coffee is delicious and good for a quick energy boost. Select the coffee maker to brew a cup. There we go. Okay, so I need to go to work. Yeah, this this is a big big issue for me is this control, but it seems like it plays well. It looks pretty good. Uh, there was the the big issue with the kind of rendering of these trees when I first started, but from that there has been nothing really major graphically, which has been an issue. It's just that. All right, got to work. It's time for work. Sims will always go to work on their own, assuming you don't prevent them from doing so. Your sim is at work, but you can take control of Alex by selecting her place. Oh, wow. Okay. You can't really do anything wrong. What does she do? We'll leave you alone for a while and let you play. Tell Alex to read, clean up, or just relax. Or watch what Alex chooses to do. Sims think for themselves and pursue their own agenda if you let them. OK. 
come on. Okay, what does this mean? I'm working at Lazy Sims Hate Activity, even picking up the current results in overexertion. Okay, lazy nap. Gotcha. Wow, it's taking her till like three thirty to be happy. I wouldn't I like to have that life. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes it's always best just to speed through. Here we go. Your sim is home from work, a little tired, but with more money in the pocket. Now is a good time to prepare dinner by selecting the fridge, have a conversation, or relax with a little TV. Okay. Okay, you can flick with the R2 and L2. Let's see, why does it, why does this flash? I don't get it. Okay. Oh wow, he's he's asleep. All right, let's so let's skip to the next day. breakfast eggs on toast okay he went to work on his own all right this woman needs to go find a goddamn job Okay, so what does she do? I'm really confused what this woman does. I feel like I should venture out.
Let's get her out and about. Yeah, I, get, I don't know. I used to spend so many hours with the original Sims. I used to have so much fun. But now it's. Not that much fun. For me, personally. Right, she needs a freaking nap. Ooh, in shower. this oh okay just realized what I was doing. Let's make the, uh, that. Okay, I need to get him to work out. She needs to take a shit and a shower. So what's this? Happy moon bro. Okay. I didn't realise I paused it. Yeah, I'm just not, I understand the people who'd like these games, but for me, it was of a time, and you had so much fun. Oh, wow. Okay, what's this? 
and see like I've, I've got lost with the I've got lost of it all ah oh, see I'm not a fan of these controls Okay, the flashing, let's not be going crazy, that's just it running out. So what does this mean? Needs toilet paper. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, she's hardcore. I think she should go to sleep half one in the morning love all right he needs to use the the Kaiser And then he needs to have a workout. God, he woke up extremely early. I, I want to be able to just, yeah, explore more. Here we go. Oh wow, she went back and to her food. Oh, I just can't get used to this control scheme. All right, I'm going to venture, make a venture out now. You know what we're going to do? Oh, I'm so. You know what, I'm going to get out of this tutorial now because I've kind of got an idea what it is and actually start a proper game. Alright, this is much nicer now. I've started with a new character, Jack Eaton. I've set him as quite evil. Had more options, which is quite nice. So, I think I was at Willow Creek beforehand, but you know what? I'm going to go for New Crest. Ah, oh, this is more like it. I prefer this. All right, I'm going to take the big plot. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, this is the one I want. Build mode. Oh, so sluggish, very, very, very slow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, walls. 
I think this is all right. Wow. This is what I'm talking about. Freaking hell. Okay, you know what? I'd say, again, so much easier on a PC, this game. It's really not meant to be made. Like, it's not really meant to be put on one of the on a pit on a console. It really isn't. All right, but this is better. I prefer, I, prefer, I wanted this. I wanted to be able to create and do all this stuff. So this is this is more like it. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to quickly make something. And it's going to be sh shitty as hell. And then, you know what you want? You want a door. That's the one we want. Oh, really? Oh wow, okay. That's how it is. That's all right. Okay, gotcha. There we go. There's the house. You know, it would be interesting if you could um, kind of download and buy pre made houses. Bulldoze. Yeah, see, this is so much better. Um, but uh, when it comes to this, you could spend so many hours just playing it. It's actually ridiculous. But, um, but you know what? I'm going to put something together. And we'll go from there.
Um, so this, okay. So here we are. Um, I kind of virtually ran out of money. In the end, um, yeah, uh, the customizing tool is pretty good. There's well, a lot of options there, which is nice. Um, it's just these controls I can't get really used to. And is there any? See, there's no one else around here. Like. What are you supposed to do? Like, I think this game is going to be for if you if you've played previous Sims and you haven't got around to playing this, or this is up you you're into these kind of point and click games on consoles. Uh, some of them do work. Uh, like I played uh, the Jurassic Park Evolution, and I was actually quite um, happy with that of how that was how that controlled and. Uh, it just felt like it kind of quite worked on the on a console, but this feels like it doesn't really work that well. Like it doesn't really, I don't know. It feels a bit. You faff around a lot. I'm I'm trying to faff around and trying to figure out, and it, even with like the building, it's just uh, it works so much better on a PC. Really, it's a better suited game for keyboard and mouse. So much better. I think you'll have way more, much more fun than that. Um, I'm. I think I could have a fun with this one, but ugh, I just feel like it. It, it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't appeal to me. But you know what? Let's jump to the main menu because I saw something which may be a bit more interesting. All right. So what's this open gallery? That's what I want to see. Is this? Can I have this home? Or is that? I'm just downloading the picture. Is that all it is? Ah, uh, that sucks. That sucks. No, I can't bring myself any more to play any any more of this game. Um, it's definitely not for me. I feel like it is for a certain type of person uh, who's probably played through played The Sims all the time. But it just feels like it doesn't really work that well on a console. If it's control scheme, it just doesn't work well. And when you look online, like the the, the Sims 4 didn't get like the greatest of reviews. It probably, no, let's say an average of six to seven out of ten. And um, whether this is all that, the, what the scores I'm seeing are all based on the PC version or on the console versions as well. I see this just working like being a much better game to play on PC. Because uh, for me, just it just doesn't feel right. And it's very sluggish using a controller for it. It's just not not that fun at all. Um, but it, it does have a lot of customizing options, even like for building. Um, you know what? You know what's fun with these games is is getting a cheat for tons of money, making a nice house, and then going and doing all the bits. Um, other than that, it gets when you have to kind of build your money to make a house it's just a bit like it's very long winded and gets a bit uh, and you get i found i always got bored like I, I quite liked the original it was fun but it was even it was much more fun when you could put in the cheat 
for infinite money and you can make this amazing house that's when it was really fun to my to me personally um, if this has got cheats where you could do that i'm not too sure but it would be nice to actually have a look and find out who you know graphically this game does look good it does look quite nice it, had a, it has got some like of little rendering issues i found at the start with trees just looking like big blocks and there's some frame rate issues and uh, some really bad frame rate issues where things would kind of lock for a little bit before they kind of kick back in or just slow down that's the problems but i kind of i kind of agree or i probably would give it a bit less when i'm looking at these other scores um so if i was to give this a thumbs up if you I'll, I'll give it i don't want to be too bad on it i'm, I'm just going to give it like a middle of the road like ooh, two thumbs in the middle it's not a thumbs down because there is some really good bits but it doesn't really work down you know maybe one sort of thumb slightly waving down um uh, you know it's i think it is what it is you either into this or you're not for me i'm not really into this um if i had it on my on my uh on my laptop and like i use a keyboard and mouse i might be interested in actually get into it a bit more but for a console definitely it doesn't work for me it's not it's not it's not engaging enough for me to actually play out I get too frustrated with the controls to be willing to invest my time of it but that's me that's my opinion but you guys might find it different let me know what you think in the comments um, until then guys take care um, look after yourselves goodbye